Good morning, everyone. It's Trish. I am out here on this absolutely beautiful day. And I want to talk to you about things we can do to help improve our game. Now, last week, I talked to you about Ben Hogan's five fundamentals. I know that I have talked about how to hold the golf club before, our grip. Today, I want to talk to you about why that's so important, okay? So, when we hold the golf club, okay, there are three basic ways to hold it. I don't know if you can see this, so I'm going to stand here and show you. You can hold it on what we call the baseball grip, where all ten fingers of our hands are on the golf club. You can do what we call the Varden grip or the overlap grip, where your pinky finger in your trail hand slides over on top of your index finger. Okay, see that? That's a very common grip. Then we have what's called the interlock, where your pinky finger and your index finger interlock. Now, the interlock grip is a good grip for those people with really long fingers and stronger players, okay? I'm not a big advocate of the interlock grip. It hurts my fingers, it hurts my hands, but it is pretty popular and pretty common. You know, Jack, Nicholas, and Tiger, I guess if they do it, everybody else can do it. Just kidding. But one of the most common grip is that overlap grip, okay? So, one of the things, you choose any of those three grips that you would like to do, but the biggest thing is that our hands be in balance with each other. Now, when our hands are in balance with each other, we should be able to open our hands, and you see my palms are facing each other. What I mean by that, when we go to clap, we don't clap with our hands facing opposite directions. We clap with our palms facing each other. That's how we're built, okay? If our hands are on the golf club and one hand is facing this way and the other hand is facing that way, can you see that? That's out of balance and that's going to change the club head. So if we check and our hands are in balance so we can let go of the golf club and make sure it's kind of hard to do when you're holding it vertically but do it on the ground we make sure our palms are facing each other do you see that when our palms face each other now the club head can remain square throughout the golf swing we're not interfering with that does that kind of sort of make sense? So go ahead and check the way you hold the golf club. Make sure your palms are facing each other in the grip, okay, when you do that. So an example of how you do that when the club is on the ground is we put the club on the ground, open your hands. See, it's much easier to do when the club's on the ground. My palms are now facing each other and I hold the club this way, okay? It's a really, really important thing to make sure your hands are in balance in the golf swing. So that is the number one of those fundamentals that I talked about in the last, in the last video. So I hope you are safe. I hope you are staying healthy and well. And until next time, keep it in the short grass.